Hey, my code curious friends, my name is Will Myers and I help you design and code out a cool Squarespace websites. So that's what we're going to be doing today. This is a website that was sent to me by Karen Herzog. She shares websites that she likes uh, and sends them over to me to see if that is something we can build in Squarespace. And I encourage you to do the same. If you find something that you really like, shoot it over to me. Um, and I would love to see if that's something we can build. But today, this is what we're going to be building. It's on this beautiful Jewel Frost website. They have some really cool components on here, um, but this is what we're gonna be focusing on today, just this uh, this landing news page right here. So this to me kind of looks like a summary block, and so that's what we'll be adapting using CSS to do today. Uh, so we have our image here, as I hover over it, the image sort of zooms in and it goes from black and white to color. Uh, the text down here, we have our text on the left and the date over here on the right, so we want our title our summary block title over here, and we want our summary block date there. We have this line below, and it's in this beautiful two by two grid. Uh, we could probably change that to be whatever. It doesn't need to be two by two, but two next to each other, two columns right there. Uh, and then on mobile, let's see how it looks. At some point, it transitions to these images going full width in just a one column, uh, one column grid here. So that is what we're going to be building. That's what we're gonna be building today. This looks awesome. I'm super excited. I hope you are. Let's jump in right now. So here we are on my website. I've built out, uh, I've called the summary block style number one. I'm just calling this number one. I'm hoping to do more of these, number two, number three, number four in the future, um, but we'll just start with number one. I don't really have a better naming system going on right now. So here is my website. Here's the summary block. Let's add in, let's get this summary block as close as we can without jumping into any code. So I'm gonna hit edit. We have, I've already added my summary block in there. Uh, the design, we're gonna set this as grid. So the code we're gonna use is going to target all of our summary blocks that have a design layout of grid. Uh, number of items doesn't matter. We can do, do this to whatever. I'm just gonna do six for here. Aspect ratio also doesn't really matter. I'm gonna keep three by two uh, because on mobile, these horizontal, these more horizontal aspect ratio images are a little bit better than the vertical ones um, it's because it's gonna be full screen. So we want it to be more horizontal. Uh, text, you can sort of play around with that. We're probably gonna keep it a little bit, maybe medium, because that's kind of closer to what we got over here. Um, and then no excerpt, no read more link. Uh, in our metadata position, put this below for what we want. You could have it above, put this as, as below, because uh, we're gonna use flex to move it, and the order matters when using flex. Uh, and then finally, make sure we have our primary me metadata as our date uh, posted, the date posted, have that in there. Um, and then other than that, I think that's about it. That's the closest we can get just with here. Now let's jump into the CSS that's gonna do that. So I'm gonna hit done save and we're going to go to design and then custom CSS. Now, over on my website, I have the CSS that you need. I'm gonna go over there, copy that, paste it right back in here. Uh, and then we'll walk through that code. Ooh, hit the mic. We're gonna walk through that code line by line, maybe not line by line, don't need to know all of it, but I'm gonna show you all the places where you can tweak that. So I'm gonna go grab that right now. All right, I have gone in and pasted the code right in here and right off the bat, you might notice that these images are a little small. Uh, and that's just because of the way Squarespace renders its summary blocks. Uh, it, 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 will, it will format the images when the page loads and when you resize the page. And so that's why just adding in this code, it's not gonna reformat the images. So you just do a quick resize of the page and it will be back to the right size. So there we go. Um, now everything's kind of looking right how we want. As I hover over it, the color changes, it zooms in, it's got this nice little zoom, the text color changes, we got these lines. Let's jump in and look at this code so we can edit it however we want. So first thing, we're targeting our, our summary block collection type blog, blog basic grid. So we're, this is the, the code that is just targeting just the grid style summary blocks. Listen, I am very sorry about him. He got a little excited, didn't do his due diligence, and was totally wrong about this selector right here. It is this one. It should be the code that you've copied over already. It's already in there, but I just wanna let you know that's why it's different in the video. All right, back to this guy. And then you'll notice here, all this code is within the opening and closing brackets. Here's where it ends. See, it's green right there. 
because my cursor is on the opening right right there. Um, so all this code is targeting just that. And so that's why this is only going to apply to our blog basic grid. Then we're targeting our summary item list. Now this is the container, the HTML element that holds all of our summary items. And so this is what we're applying a display grid to. And I've defined two columns. If you wanted to do three, add a space, one more FR, one FR. So there is three columns, but we just want two columns. So I'm gonna leave it as that. Then we have our gap property. This is controlling the vertical spacing between the items. Uh, and this second property is controlling the horizontal spacing right here. So right there is 17 pix pixels, right here is 68 pixels. So I could change this to maybe uh, 34 between and maybe zero uh, vertical. And you'll see these get a lot closer. So that is another way to do it, but I'm gonna leave it as we have here because that's what I like. Now our summary item, what this is doing, this is just resetting some defaults that Squarespace has. So I'm just sort of removing the, the properties that Squarespace has added in. That's what that is doing. No need to adjust that. Then we have our border bottom. So this is our black line right here. Uh, this should probably have a black right there. So this is denoting the color of it. Uh, so you can change this to gray if you want that to be. You could change it to your, um, your brand color if it's red or something, however you want that to be. Let's just leave it as gray for right now. Then we have our summary content. So this is the content that is within. This is our summary image. Every, every summary item, this whole thing is a summary item, has our summary content and our summary image right there. So we're making this display flex and then adding some vertical padding, 17 pixels above and eight pixels below. So you could change, these are two properties you could also change if you want to get it a little bit closer and a little bit farther away at the bottom. But I'm just gonna go back these to 17 and eight. Uh, here's some other properties you can do. This is the properties that changes the summary title, as you can tell. So we have, I've made our font weight to be really thin. You can make this thicker if you want, but I'm gonna keep this as thin. Uh, you had 900, somewhere between 100 and 900. That's our font weight properties. And then I've made it all uppercase. And I've also given it a transition. Uh, we're transitioning the opacity. So as I hover over, you notice the opacity changes. And we have this nice half second transition there. So it doesn't just, jump on and jump off, it sort of fades into gray and then fades out. The opacity, I mean, fades in and fades out. So that's kind of nice. Then our summary metadata container. So that is this, our, our date item here. Um, this is 12 CH. I just kind of leave that. That's probably what you need. I wouldn't adjust that. That's just the width of this container over here. And then we're also aligning it to the right. So keep those properties as you want. I wouldn't touch any of those. Then we're doing the same thing. So you can change the font weight of our date down here, the text transform, you can change the color, any of that stuff. And because we haven't, it's not adjusting over here. Notice our title's the only one that's changing as we hover over, not the date. Same thing over here. I've made it so that date does not change, just the title color. So that's why our opacity is, we're gonna set it to one. Then further down, we're targeting our image. So that's what this code, this little selector right here is doing. Uh, this is a reset, don't worry about that. This just is a reset from Squarespace. And then this is the fun stuff. So we're filtering, so our default image, we're filtering to a grayscale of 100%. So we're making it fully black and white. So that's what we're doing, that is the default. Uh, and then further down, we have our ho hover effects. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just ignore all these other things. So these are the uh, transition. Uh, the transition as you hover over it, it scales up. As you remove it, it comes down. And you can see that down here. As we hover over our summary item, as we hover over it, the image, the grayscale goes down to zero. So we set it as 100. It goes down to zero as we hover over it. And the we add a transform property that scales it up 5%. So that's what this 1.05, that's 5%. So we're transforming it up. And this ease, it eases in over about one and a half seconds. And the, the color transition is just a half second. So feel free to adjust any of those variables as you wish. Uh, and then our summary title, again, as we hover over it, that's a, we, we're changing the opacity from one down to 50%, 0.5. So that's what that 0.5 is. Uh, and then over here on mobile, whew, there's a lot going on here. Hope you're still with me. 
Um, on mobile, we're gonna click this mobile right here and notice we've changed our grid template column. Remember we had one FR, one FR. We had two like this. Uh, we're just moving this back down to one, one column, one FR, one fractional unit. That's what FR stands for. Uh, and you would know that if you took my grid course, which I highly encourage you to do. I have a course on grid. There's a little promo right above or something. Uh, and then we're changing the gap down to just 51 pixels. So it's just 51, but feel free to change this. If you want them to be a little closer on mobile, maybe change that to like 17 pixels or 34. So why am I 17? These seem like random numbers, right? 17, 34. Uh, so all of these numbers, Squarespace, the default for every block within Squarespace, every block has a padding of 17 pixels, everyone. And this is just some, some a number that Squarespace chose and it is every single website has that 17 pixels. So that's why these numbers are, might seem a little random to you. Uh, these are following along within the same sort of spacing structure as Squarespace is given. So 17, but 68 is also a, a is divisible by 17. So this is uh, the 17 times four, I think. Uh, and so that's why we're using the 17, eight, that's roughly half of 17. So that's why we're using the 17 uh, and 34 and 51 numbers. These are all numbers divisible by 17. So that may have been a little confusing. Hope that clears it up. And then our image, we're targeting our image again. Remember, this is the element that holds our image within our summary items. Uh, this is the element and we're going, we're using this sort of like full width trick. I've done a couple tutorials on this in the past, so I'm not going to go over it now. Uh, but this shows you how to make any element go full width and it's great to do on mobile. Gives that nice little view. Whoo! Okay, so there is uh, the tutorial. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions about this. This code might not be exactly as I have it in this video on my website. I will frequently update it depending on how Squ if Squarespace changes things or if, if there's maybe a bug in it that I didn't realize, I'll update it. Uh, but that this video should give you a high level overview of how things work and what goes on. So hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. Let me know if you see anything else out there in the wild that you'd love to see coded up. Uh, and I'll take a look and see how feasible it is. So I hope you have a great day.